Today, we will learn more about the exciting world of offshore wind energy. Ever wonder how those giant wind turbines out at sea work? Stick around and we'll explain everything you need to know about this powerful and clean energy source. Electricity from offshore wind is generated by wind turbines located in bodies of water, usually oceans or large lakes. But why put them in water, you ask? Let's break it down. First, let's consider the benefits. 1. Stronger and more consistent winds. Winds over the ocean are typically stronger and more consistent than on land. This means offshore turbines can generate more electricity. Two. Less visual and noise impact. Offshore turbines are far from residential areas, reducing noise and visual impact on communities. And 3. Space efficiency. Large wind farms can be built without the same land use concerns as onshore wind farms or solar panels. This is particularly beneficial for densely populated coastal regions. So, how does this work? Wind turbines convert kinetic energy from the moving wind into rotational energy and then into electricity. Here's a closer look at the process. Blades catch the wind. The wind turns the blades of the turbine. These blades can be over 80 meters long and are designed using advanced aerodynamic principles to maximize efficiency. Rotor spins the shaft. The rotating blades turn a low-speed shaft connected to a gearbox. Gearbox increases speed. The gearbox increases the rotational speed from about 30 to 60 rotations per minute to around 1000 to 1800 rotations per minute, which is suitable for generating electricity. Generator produces electricity. The high-speed shaft drives the generator. Inside the generator, the mechanical rotation is converted into electrical energy through electromagnetic induction and, finally, electricity transmitted to shore. The electricity is then transmitted via underwater cables to the shore and into the power grid. These cables are typically high voltage alternative current or high voltage direct current lines, depending on the distance to the shore. Now, let's consider some technical details of key components. 1. Blades. Made from lightweight composite materials like fiberglass or carbon fiber to withstand harsh marine conditions, their shape and angle are optimized for capturing maximum wind energy. 2. Nacelle. This is the housing at the top of the turbine tower containing the gearbox generator and control systems. It's designed to protect these components from the salty and humid offshore environment. 3. The tower, usually made of steel and can be over 100 meters tall. The height allows the blades to reach higher and more consistent wind speeds. And 4. The foundation. Depending on the water depth, foundations can be monopile, jacket or floating. Monopiles are used in shallow waters, jackets in deep waters, and floating foundations for the deepest locations. Let us think about environmental impact. Offshore wind farms have a much lower carbon footprint compared to fossil fuels. They don't emit greenhouse gases or air pollutants, helping to combat climate change. However, they must be carefully located to minimize impacts on marine life and ecosystems Detailed environmental impact assessments are conducted to understand potential effects on marine mammals, fish, and birds. Marine life. Measures are taken to protect marine life, such as designing turbines to minimize noise during installation and operation. Research is ongoing to understand and mitigate impacts on fish and marine mammals. Regarding birds, careful site selection helps to avoid major bird migration routes. Monitoring and technology such as radar systems are used to reduce bird collisions. Now, let's consider challenges and innovations associated with offshore wind. 1. Installation and maintenance. Building and maintaining turbines in the ocean is complex and costly. Innovations like self-installing turbines 
and automated maintenance drones are helping to reduce these costs and increase efficiency. 2. Grid connection Integrating offshore wind power into existing grid requires substantial infrastructure. High voltage DC technology is often used for long distance transmissions due to its lower power loss compared to high voltage alternating current. And 3. Energy storage solutions Energy storage systems such as batteries are being developed to store excess energy generated during high wind periods, ensuring stable supply even when the wind isn't blowing. The future of offshore wind The future looks bright for offshore wind energy. As technology advances, costs are decreasing, making it more viable option for many countries. Floating wind farms these can be installed in deeper waters, expanding the potential locations for offshore wind energy. Floating platforms are anchored to the seabed, but can be used in waters over 60 meters deep. Larger turbines. The industry is moving towards larger turbines with capacities of 10-15 megawatts each. These turbines can power thousands of homes and reduce the cost per megawatt hour. Hybrid solutions. Combining offshore wind with other renewable sources like wave and tidal energy can provide a more consistent and reliable power supply. Let's consider the economic impact. Offshore wind energy also has significant economic benefits. It creates jobs in manufacturing, installation and maintenance. It also stimulates local economies through the development of ports and infrastructure needed to support the industry. Offshore wind energy is a key player in transitioning to renewable energy. By harnessing the power of the ocean's winds, we can produce clean energy, sustainable electricity that helps protect our planet for future generations.